y'all today I wanted to shoot a quick video to give you guys a few tips for improving food quality on a budget because if you are like me and if your families are like my families it's hard we have budgets we have um, time crunches it's not always practical to run around and go to different stores and so I've just drafted a few tips that will help you to try and improve the quality of food that you serve yourself and your family and I hope this is helpful to you so are you ready here we go number one shop farmers markets this may sound fairly obvious but farmers markets are a great place to get really good quality food at great prices I have noticed at my farmers markets that the produce is not always organic, but it is local. And I'm going to link a post below where one of my blog friends talks about the difference between the two. That was really helpful to me. Um, ideally, it'd be great if we could find both, but like I said, practicality and availability play a huge role. So I will link her article below. But either way, farmers markets are a great place to get the most bang for your buck. Number two, start a garden. Now this may be a little bit more work than a lot of you want to get into. Um, I will say one of the easiest things that I have done is starting an herb garden. And cooking with fresh herbs is really easy and it's a great way to add a lot of flavor and a little bit of nutrition without adding a whole lot of Weight Watcher points. I recently wrote a how-to article on my own blog about this, so I will link that below as well. Number three, check online store ads and store coupons and stock up. This is something that I do when I am shopping. Um, I will go online to my local store and see what is on sale and I will kind of plan my meals around that. If you shop the sales, you can really save a lot of money, particularly if you have a deep freezer like we do. We have an extra freezer in our garage and so a lot of times I will buy um, like a month or more worth of meat if it's on sale or whatever. You can freeze all kinds of things. Um, I, I would say experiment. A lot of people don't like the way things taste after they've been frozen, but um, you can kind of experiment with this and just see what your family likes. You can stock up on canned goods. Those don't go bad um, for a long time. And things like canned beans, canned tomatoes, those types of things. Um, when the organic ones go on sale, that's a great time to stock up. Number four, reduce waste. And there are a couple of strategies that I use to do this. Number one is to do a meal plan. And a meal plan really helps because what I do is when I make my meal plan, I take a look, like I said, at the, the store sales for that week and what I already have on hand to try and make the best use of what we have so that things don't go bad and so that I, I'm only buying the things that I really need and that I can kind of work in the things that are on sale to make the most use of my grocery dollars. Another way that we reduce waste in my household is that we eat a lot of leftovers. Now, I work from home, and so I have the advantage of being home all day, and it's really easy for me to just pull out leftovers for lunch and heat those up, and it's just a quick way to get some good quality food. It helps us avoid throwing away perfectly good food. It's just another way to get some more meals out of what you're making for dinner. Now, I'm a big meal planner, and I wrote a post on um, some tips and tricks for that, so I will link that below as well. Number five, work in some meatless meals to help keep costs down. This is something new that I have been trying lately. Now, we are not vegetarian, and nor do we plan to be, but there are some great vegetarian meals out there that can be really filling. Um, I especially like soups and... Um, Dishes like um, that have a bean base, like that have a lot of lentils or black beans in them, those can make some really delicious, filling, meatless meals. Working in those meatless meals just helps us to have to buy less meat so that when we do purchase meat, we can purchase the higher quality. 
it helps us to be able to eat more of the grass-fed beef or the organic meats or the wild-caught seafood. Number six, learn to prioritize. There are a couple of great resources that I have used. Um, as much as I would love to buy every single thing organic, budget and availability and practicality just doesn't make it possible for us. So I use a couple of um, things to help me prioritize. And you guys may have heard of something called the Dirty Dozen. And those are the dozen foods that um, if you can afford it, they are most effective to buy organic. They're things that are heavily sprayed. Um, they contain a lot of pesticides and things. So if you are only able to kind of pick and choose a few things to go organic on, the Dirty Dozen is what you need to know. So I will link that below. Also, there's a list kind of on the flip side of the Dirty Dozen called the Clean 15. And these are 15 foods that if you buy the traditional version, it's not as bad for you. They're things that are not sprayed as heavily or have thicker skins um, that you would not eat, such as oranges or melons. Most of the time we're going to remove those skins. And so if you wash them really well and remove the skins, most of the time you're going to be okay. You're going to be pretty safe from those pesticides. I will link the Clean 15 below as well. Number seven, shop at Costco. A lot of people may disagree with me on this, and I know, like I said, ideally we would be able to get everything local and organic. Um, that's just not practical for my family. And as much as I would love to be perfect and you know be able to pick up everything um, locally and organically, just not possible. So Costco has been a great resource for my family. They carry a lot of organic items. Um, I buy most of our meat there, our chicken breasts, they have whole chickens, um, ground beef, all of that they have at my store, um, organic options. And so I really like too, they portion them out by like what you would feed probably about a family of four. And so that's really convenient as well. So I will buy those packets and a lot of them, like our ground beef for instance, has three little tear-offs. And I believe it's like a pound and a quarter in each section. And so that's really, really convenient. And it's an easy way uh, to buy higher quality meat and it's, it's packaged in a way that's really convenient as well. Costco is also pretty good about carrying a lot of the frozen fruits that I use in my smoothies. They have a lot of those like the strawberries and the mango. At my particular Costco, they have the organic options of those and they are very budget friendly. We also buy our rice. Um, they have a lot of coconut oil, olive oil. We buy a lot of those things at Costco. They just have some really good options. So I would be curious to hear from you guys. What are some tips that you have for improving the quality of your food on a budget? I would love to hear. So leave me a comment below and let me know. I hope this video was helpful and valuable to you guys. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. Leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up. And as always, visit me at my home on the web, apinchofhealthy.com. Thanks and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.